various types of experimental designs that can be analyzed by analysis of variants, sometimes called ANOVA. This section discusses many of these designs and defines many key terms used. An independent variable is a variable manipulated by the experimenter. In the smiles and leniency case study, the effect of four different types of smiles, neutral, false, felt, and miserable, on the leniency shown to a person was investigated. In this experiment, the type of smile is the independent variable. In describing an ANOVA design, the term factor is used as a synonym of independent variable. Therefore, type of smile is the factor in this experiment. Since four types of smiles were compared, the factor type of smile has four levels. A one-way ANOVA is an ANOVA conducted on a design in which there is only one factor, such as in the smiles and leniency case study. If an experiment has two factors, then the ANOVA is called a two-way ANOVA. The data from the obesity and bias case study can be analyzed with a two-way ANOVA. This case study examines the effects of two factors, the weight of the woman sitting next to the applicant, and the relationship between the applicant and the woman, on ratings of job qualification. In the smiles and leniency study, the four levels of the factor type of smile were represented by four separate groups of subjects. When different subjects are used for the different levels of the factor, the factor is called a between subjects factor or a between subjects variable. The term between subjects reflects the fact that comparisons are between different groups of subjects. In the ADHD treatment study, every subject was tested with each of four dosage levels, 0, 0 0.15, 0 0.30, and 0 0.60 milligrams per kilogram of a drug. Therefore, there was only one group of subjects, and comparisons were not between different groups of subjects, but between conditions within the same subjects. When the same subjects are used for the levels of the factor, the factor is called a within-subjects factor, or within-subjects variable. Within-subjects variables are sometimes referred to as repeated measures variables, since there are repeated measurements of the same subjects. It is common for designs to have more than one factor. For example, consider a hypothetical study of the effects of age and gender on reading speed, in which boys and girls, ages 8, 10, and 12 years old, are tested. There would be a total of six different groups in the study, as shown in the table. We would conduct a two-way ANOVA on the data just shown. The two factors are age and gender. Age has three levels, and gender has two levels. When all combinations of the levels are included, as they are here, the design is called a factorial design. A concise way of describing this design is as an age 3 by gender 2 factorial design, where the numbers in parentheses indicate the number of levels. Complex designs frequently have more than two factors and may have combinations of between and within subject factors.